All right, guys. This video is gonna be hard to do, and um, I'm gonna do my best to get through it. No cuts. So I guess if you saw yesterday's vlog last night, I just sort of ended it. I couldn't really talk. So this morning, my mom went home to be with the Lord early this morning. Look around six. Twenty-three years. Twenty-three years my mom was fighting. She fought for twenty-three years. It's incredible. It's incredible to go through surgeries, getting things removed and chemo, rate weeks of radiation and tumors. Just having cancer for twenty-three years. And she has, she made it. I know it may look like a loss, but it's not. She won. 23 years later, she won. She made it. She gets a new body, cancer free. No sickness. She's with the Lord, a new home. And I'm proud of her. I'm really, I'm really proud of her. <sighs> Oh, I never cried so much in my life. <sighs> uh. So, I, she never gave up. She never gave up. She's an incredible woman. I, uh, I don't know. It's just, it's just really incredible how hard she fought. All the way up to the end. Last night, I, like, I knew, I knew she was going to pass for a while now. I just... I only told a few people, only a few people knew, but I knew, I mean, for the longest time I knew, you know, we talked about it, cancer was eventually gonna, you know, do its thing, but the past few nights, you know, she wasn't eating, you know, her, the medicine makes her brain all crazy, and, you know, just, it, towards the end, the last few days, she was just not with it, she wasn't with it for the most part and last night you know I was here la late last night I I just looked at her and she she wasn't responding to like sounds and all she was just so sleepy and I, I just had a feeling I didn't want to, you know I just had a bet I just feeling and you know I got the call from my dad at like six something and I just knew I just knew that I just knew that was the call. I was like, why? Cause I was supposed to see him later on and I was like, it just has to be. <sighs> yeah. I'll miss her, I'll miss her a lot. She touched so many lives, she's done so much good stuff. And um, she's incredible and I just wanna say thank you to everyone who has been messaging me who has been supporting me and loving for all these for for all these years, 23 years. I'm almost 28 this month, actually. Later this month, I turn 28. So I was young when it all started, and throughout the years, we had so much love and support. I can't thank you guys enough. It means it means a whole lot, and you know we'll get through it. You know, it's gonna be hard, it's, it's hard, you know, even though I knew for the longest time that, you know, and then when she became terminal, like, some weeks ago, I just, you know, it's something you can't prepare for. You can think about it all you want, but once it happens, this, I've been, I've been losing it a lot today, you know, I, I hardly, I hardly cried in my whole life. I lost loved ones before, it's like I always tear up. But I, I've been losing it like crazy today, and uh, it's okay to cry. It's okay to let that sadness out, you know, and I can't bottle it up. But yeah, I, I really appreciate all of you guys. You guys mean a lot to me, and you know, it was just so much support, so much support. People just checking up on me, offering to cook meals for my family, or you know, take me out somewhere, and. Oh, it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be hard getting through all this. I... <clears throat> I'm 
So we're gonna have like a, her, what she wanted was to have a celebration of going home. So next week, we're gonna have that. It's gonna be, it's gonna be, it's gonna be nice, nice, you know, she's home, home with God and, you know, she's been talking about it. She's, she was all excited, you know, get a new body, be with the Lord and no more suffering. That's the most important thing. No, no more suffering. She did it. 22 years. Oh man. Is this, is this so awesome how she never gave up? Yeah, times were hard and she wanted to, but in the end she always looked up to God and, you know, God, God's with us. God's with everyone. You know, he, he's shown, he's shown himself a lot through these hard times, especially now, now. And it is the afternoon. Honestly, who knows what the vaults are going to be like. Probably, I want to do some pictures of my mom and stuff like that. This, I don't know if I'll vlog at all the rest of the day. I don't, I don't care if I do or not, but I want to at least say thank you to everyone and just bear with me, guys. Just bear with me. I, you know, this. If you want to message me, feel free to message me on social media. I, whatever you want, you know. I've been. I have so many messages I have to go through. Notifications, people saying thank you and it's comforting. You know, I can use all the support that I can get. It's, it's hard. It's hard. So. Sorry, sorry for this this video, but you know it's my life, and you guys are a part of it, and I shouldn't hold it in. It's, it was hard. I I tried to do it this morning talking to you guys, but uh, I just couldn't. I I tried like just like last night. I was gonna give the talk about how I know I have known and all, but uh, she touched a lot of lives. A lot of impact. She's done a lot of good stuff, and she was a strong, godly, beautiful, faithful woman, a loving mom. I'm so happy to be that I was her son, and that I was adopted from her. I had a few months old. I think like eight months, maybe. I don't know, but I think, mean, yeah, she's done a lot of good, and I. I couldn't be any more proud to be your son. So, um, yeah, I'm just gonna. This is a vlog, guys. This is a thank you. This is an update. So, I appreciate it.